superhero movies have remained in pop culture for decades. Every few months, a new superhero movie makes its way into theaters. But how do we get to where we are today? The only way to answer that question is to start at the beginning. The Batman television series starred Adam West as Batman. It was popular because it had the ability to show off every single one of Batman's enemies. From the Riddler, all the way down to the Joker, no enemy escaped the Cape Crusader. The series reigned for quite a while until Adam West decided to go into politics. A few decades later, Batman would be cast onto the big screen. In the 90s, Batman saw a surge of films. Batman, Batman Returns, Batman and Robin, and Batman Forever were 90s classics. In Batman Forever, Val Kilmer stops his career as an actor and decides to fight crime. He becomes Batman, but soon, Ace Ventura turns evil, and Robin must help Batman stop him. In Batman and Robin, Batman is now George Clooney, but Robin, who is still the same person, doesn't even notice. The Terminator has to get a second job in order to pay his heating bill, but not before Batman can stop him. Everybody always asks me what order you're supposed to watch these movies in. In chronological order, it goes Batman and Robin, Twins, Junior, and then Batman Returns, starring Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Jumping forward another decade, we see Batman in theaters once again. Christopher Nolan directs this Batman trilogy. You know him best from superhero movies like Memento and The Prestige. Batman Begins kicks off the trilogy. In this film, Batman battles with the Scarecrow as he tries to poison the city. The runtime on this movie is 2 hours and 20 minutes. The second movie is The Dark Knight. Batman defeats Scarecrow 5 minutes into this film. The movie did not do well at the box office or with critics because Christopher Nolan forgot to put the word Batman in the title. The last movie in the trilogy is The Dark Knight Rises. Nolan makes the exact same mistake again. He becomes a laughingstock in Hollywood and never makes another movie again. Batman v Superman came out in 2016. Many people think that the V stands for Versus, but that's not the case. It actually stands for Violence Stops When You Say Martha. Batman made a brief appearance in Suicide Squad and will be a huge part of the upcoming Justice League movie. Well, that about wraps it up. All the superheroes over the years have been a lot of fun to watch. Whether it was Batman chasing the Joker in the 60s, or Batman chasing the Joker in the 90s, or even Batman chasing the Joker in 2008, we loved every bit of it. Well, that was a lot of history, but I'm pretty sure we didn't forget any superheroes. We'll see you next time on Honest History. Thanks for watching.